Five scary tech inventions that you didn't know existed. Facial recognition. Now most people know of the existence of facial recognition technology, but most aren't aware of all the weird ways that facial recognition is being put to use. In this list, we'll be counting down five very scary ways that face recognition tech is being used right now. Facebook knows your face. In late December 2017, Facebook rolled out a new feature on their site, face recognition. Megan Chapman posted a photo, Thursday at 2.37 p.m. Comment, great times, great food, great people. Image may contain four people, including Megan Chapman, Gary Chavez, Kevin Burton, and Amanda Willis. Tree, outdoor, nature. Now, Facebook said that the idea behind the technology was to prevent people from using photos to impersonate others, and also to help people find pictures of themselves posted online that they didn't know about. What actually happens is that Facebook stores what is called a facial template of your face and then uses it to match up your face when it appears in any video or picture posted on the site. Opponents of the Facebook technology argue that it could be used for harassment or cyberbullying. After all, users receive a notice that their likeness has been posted, even if it was posted by someone they're not Facebook friends with. This means that a harasser or stalker could post a person's image with a rude or threatening comment and the person would see the photo in their feed. Facebook's facial recognition only affects some users because the technology is actually banned by privacy laws in Canada and Europe. Stalking made easy. If the idea of Facebook recognizing your face doesn't bother you, well maybe this next one will. There are now apps available that will allow you to take someone's picture, just some random person on the street, and then find their identity by searching for their face on social media. The app claims to have an accuracy rate of over 70%. An artist named Igor Svetkov showed just how dangerous the technology could be in cases of potential stalking. Svetkov took pictures of random people on a train and then easily identified them via their social media accounts. On the accounts, he found their personal info, family and friends, and even the area where they lived. Weeks later, some users of the message board 2chan used one of these apps to find and reveal the true identities of adult actresses. They then used this info to dox the women, sending messages and even pornographic photos to their family and friends, revealing their secret life in the adult industry. Big Brother German authorities have already been testing facial recognition software for use in law enforcement. Despite protests, tests were carried out at a Berlin railway station with plans to roll out the new technology across the country. This same facial recognition technology is already being used to identify, quote, persons of interest in China, and it may soon be adopted by many more countries across the globe. A portable version of the tech is even being developed to be worn as body cameras by law enforcement officers. A missile that knows your name. DARPA, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has several very frightening object and facial recognition projects in the works. One of these projects, called FOCUS, uses robotic drones that can actually identify armed versus unarmed enemy insurgents from the air. The technology highlights armed combatants in red and unarmed men in green. Even scarier is the Argus IS. The Argus IS system mounts to the underside of an unmanned aircraft which can be flying as high as 20,000 feet in the air. Even from this distance, Argus can actually recognize objects as small as 6 inches. It can monitor everyone in an area the size of 10 square miles. As technology progresses and the camera's resolution becomes even sharper, many believe that facial recognition will be added to the Argus IS. The system would then be able to actually recognize a person's face, perhaps a potential target, from 20,000 feet in the air. Again, it should be noted that all of this technology is being developed expressly for covert military and combat use. Terms and Conditions When Apple released the iPhone X, it came with one of the most advanced facial recognition technologies ever put into a consumer's smartphone. Apple's facial recognition chip, called the A11 Bionic Neural Engine, actually scans the user's face with over 30,000 infrared dots, composing a 3D facial image for verification. 
As a result, the system is incredibly accurate and cannot be fooled by a mask or a photo of a user's face. While Apple claims that this highly accurate 3D facial imprint will only be stored locally on the phone, the problem is that third-party apps on the iPhone can also read this data, using it to monitor a user's face, their moods and expressions, and even their race and gender. Early info on Samsung's S9, the iPhone's biggest competitor, suggests that it will also include a much more advanced facial recognition system with info which can also be shared with third-party apps. In the end, it seems that technology is moving towards an era where there will be little to no privacy or anonymity. We all might be able to be tracked anywhere, anytime, by cameras that can instantly recognize our face, even from 20,000 feet in the air.